you can make sure you have your aprons on and your goggles down. We're going to get started. Most kids wouldn't be happy spending a Sunday morning in a room full of beakers and tubes. But with the help of 16-year-old Jacqueline Means, these young girls are learning science can be a whole lot of fun. They come in with kind of a, what are we doing today, science, I don't even like that stuff. And my goal throughout the day is to change their mindset about it and say, hey, that, that's not the right way to think about it. STEM is so much fun, so exciting, and really cool. Jacqueline discovered her love for science at a young age, and she was surprised to learn women make up only 29% of people in the STEM field. It was really discouraging just to see that if I were to go into the STEM field, I wouldn't have kind of that female backing to support me the whole way through. Um, and I said, well, I want to change that. And so she did. Jacqueline, frustrated by a lack of affordable education programs in her Delaware community, founded the Wilmington Urban STEM Initiative to introduce young girls to the wonders of science. In a city nicknamed Murder Town, USA, for its high rates of violence, she hoped to give girls here a chance to build a brighter future. I wanted to kind of bring this whole idea to life of having a full day of just fun STEM education, really making it hands-on and exciting. And just like that, we've got blue snow. See? Isn't that cool? <laughs> Exposure is very important, letting them know that this is something that's out there, it's something you can do. Over the last two years, she has taught simple but engaging experiments to more than 400 girls. And that's so awesome. These bottles are super hot, guys. That is all steam, right? Even gifting many of them with book bags and school supplies, all at no cost. She makes me feel great, especially seeing her do it. It's like, it's kind of giving me, giving me that signal like I can do it too. To live in an environment where there's like not a lot of girls who like science, and then to come somewhere and it's like all science and learning and stuff, that's really good. One day, Jacqueline hopes to impact girls outside of her community too. She's already taken her cause to the national stage as a finalist in the Miss America Outstanding Teen Competition. I want to be that girl, be their role model, be that person in their corner rooting for them to do anything and everything. Oh, and we are joined by the STEM queen herself, Jacqueline Means. Good morning. Good morning. As a scientist myself and seeing your excitement around science and math and all the experiments, I, I love what you're doing for the kids. Thank you so much. What has the reaction been from, from the kids? As you saw in that spot, clearly it's, they're excited. Yes, absolutely. The girls, whenever they walk in, I can kind of tell that they're not quite sure what we're going to do today. They're not really excited about it. But as we go throughout the day, the biggest smiles start to spread across their faces and their eyes start to sparkle. And I know I'm having a real impact. It's just that they're really excited about it and they're, they're gaining kind of excitement about it and that they really want to get into it. I saw the tears that you have. I can see the passion that you have for these kids. Where is this all going? What do you want to do? Where do you see yourself? And for this program, let's say months years from now. What would Absolutely. You say? I myself want to be a neurosurgeon, so I wow. plan to have, oh, that's my biggest dream nice. ever. <laughs> I plan to go to the University of Delaware and then my dream medical school is Johns Hopkins University. That, nice. That's the goal. Um, but for my program, I really want to continue to gain exposure for the young girls. I want to spread outside of Wilmington and really impact my entire state of Delaware and eventually the whole country. That's my mega goal. But for right now, I really want to focus on my city and letting everybody within it know we're better than that stigma. Um, that's been placed upon us, kind of that negative connotation, and that we're so much better than that. We're talking about it all around the country this morning. Exactly. Which thing. hopefully will help this yes. spread Absolutely. to more communities across yes. the country. Well, Jacqueline, to thank you for your dedication to promoting STEM learning, our sponsor, Subaru, wants to give you the tools you need to keep inspiring the next generation. Yes, are you ready? So, okay, we guys, have a little I want surprise you guys to count you. with me on three, two, one. Ready? <laughs> three, two, one. Subaru is giving you $10,000 worth of supplies. Oh my this includes God. chemistry kits that all the kids will uh, be able to do and use amazing. all sorts of STEM products and books and everything, everything you could possibly imagine. Uh, and Chromebooks Chrome oh. as well. <laughs> What's going through your mind? What are you thinking? Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You guys got me crying. I'm oh, okay. 
<laughs> what is it that brings you tears? Is it just the work that you put into it, the kids who you know this will help? What would you say? The kids I know it's going to help. That's really amazing because I know I'm going to be able to give all this to the kids living in Southbridge and that they can take this home and, and continue getting that hands-on STEM exposure. Wow. And you know they're watching right now, so I'm sure oh. that they are they are excited to have you so teach special. them how to use all of this. I'm excited to do it. Wow. Jacqueline, you are such a light. Thank you so much for what you're doing, these oh. girls. It's so special. Thank you so much. You really are truly special. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Thank you. I will.